Customers in Shopify will automatically be created when an order is placed on the website or another channel. You can also edit and add new customers from the customer menu in the left hand side. To add a customer, click add a customer at the top there. Here you'll be asked to add a number of aspects about each customer. Their name, email address, phone number, whether the customers have agreed to receive marketing emails. Remember that in some countries there is specific regulation governing under what circumstances a customer can be added to an emailing list. They usually have to give express permission. Underneath this you need to give the address for the customer and also delivery phone number. Some customers may be tax exempt and here you can select whether the customer collects tax or not. There is a field for any notes you want to add about a customer and you can also add tags to a customer. This enables you to filter them more effectively. So you could say VIP for a VIP customer. Back to the list of customers. There are a number of filters for customers. You can filter on their email subscription status, whether they have a tag or not, the account status, active, disabled, etc. If we filter on a tag, that will show us all the customers that have the tag discount on them. We can save this filter which can be used in other parts of the system. So we'll save as discount. These save filters are called customer groups and appear at the top here and you can automatically filter by them. They are also used in discounts. If you want to apply a certain discount to a particular group of customers, this is where the groups are set. If we look at a customer, which has already been created, we can see details such as their last order. We can create a new order if we want to. So if we create an order here, we can search for products. So. We can add a product to an order and then collect payment. Payment can either be by credit card or you can mark it as paid. You need to have set up to accept credit card payment in the system previously. Here you have the shipping address, contact information and the billing address as set up either manually or when the order was created. Thanks for watching this video. For more content please subscribe to our channel or check out our Amazon playlist. You can also see more hints and tips at our website which is vendlab.com slash blog.